Hello and welcome to another Rock Climber Life video. Today we're going to take a look at one of the best all-around jackets for spring and fall, the Outdoor Research Ferrosi Hoodie. Okay guys, like I said today, we're talking about the Ferrosi hoodie. This is quickly going to become one of my favorite all-around jackets for spring and fall. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the material. This is kind of like a magic synthetic material. It has a bit of stretch, so you can move real easy in it. Uh, for climbing, this is going to be great for me. Uh, when I'm cold in the morning and warming up on an easier route, this is a great jacket because it definitely will move with you. Uh, also with the material, this, this, like I said, this magic material, it's breathable, it's wind resistant, it's water resistant, it, qui it quickly dries, and it's durable. So it kind of has all those magical properties you're looking for in a jacket. Uh, and it's just, you know, all around an excellent coat in all categories. Uh, is it a storm shell? No, you know, you can't take this down and out into a downpour and expect to be completely dry. Is it like a puffy coat that you can take into a really cold environment? No. But if you're caught in a light rainstorm, it's going to shed that off. If you're climbing into an alpine environment or, you know, kind of this fall mornings where it's a bit crisp in the morning and you just want a light jacket, this is what you're going to need. Next, let's talk about the fit. The fit is fantastic. It has definitely an athletic fit. Uh, for me, I'm about 6'1 or so. And uh, the size large and outdoor research clothing seems to fit me just perfectly. Um, the, the sleeves are long enough, so you know, it's not doing that type of thing when you, when you reach up. Uh, the sleeves are long enough, but at the same time, you can move very easily. Uh, and it also has a hood, which I really like. The hood is great, it's super lightweight. Uh, it may be able, be able to fit under one of the, the smaller streamlined helmets, like a Black Diamond Vapor. Some of the larger helmets, not so much. Uh, it has keepers on the side. So you can kind of cinch down the hood and keep it tight to you uh, if you're really getting cold. It also has uh, an elastic keeper on the waist. So you can keep it tight to your waist when you're wearing this underneath a harness. Uh, it's not going to bag out and kind of get in the way. Um, has a couple pockets on the side. Uh, each pocket, kind of a typical jacket pocket, has plenty of room to stash all sorts of stuff. Uh, actually, the left-hand pocket, it you can take the jacket and fold it into itself to kind of its own self-contained um, you know, ball so you don't have to just roll it up and throw it in your pack. Uh, it'll, it'll you know, be contained. It also has a great pocket on the side here on the, on the chest. Uh, this is great for you know, a cell phone or any other keys or some small object. And also the details. I don't think uh, Outdoor Research really overlooks the details in, in anyway. Uh, they have great embroidery. Um, this pocket, which I love, which is similar to the Ferrosi pants, has that like taped or seamed uh, kind of seamed pocket appearance to it. It's not stitched. So it's like they put a piece of material on here and glued it on there. Um, so it's very streamlined and just, you know, lightweight and it's easy to wear. Uh, great embroidery on the side. And also the uh, sleeves and shoulder on the light green on this, in this uh, jacket configuration, this kind of has like an extra durability. So it's kind of like the synthetic material with a little bit of armor on it. Uh, it's a little bit beefier on the light green where the dark green is uh, a little bit more lightweight on those less wearing areas like your chest and, and around your waist where the higher wear, like wearing a pack, this is a, a higher wear area. And uh, I don't think there's much, you know, too many other things to say. Um, and with that, this has been another Rock Climber Life video. Be sure to check out the blog, rockclimberlife.com, for more. Thanks for watching.